you hear me? I was just being silly boys. Okay. What did you end up doing? Did you end up getting out of everything or not? Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? No. Yeah. I, I can, can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you too. Did you get yeah. out of everything or not? I haven't looked at it since I saw over you. Well, everything's dropped, so you don't know what you're up. I don't. I'm not in front of the screen at the minute. I'm just having some tea. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I want to just talk to you for three minutes here. I just, I just want you to zip it and just listen to me talk for a minute, okay? You make yeah. your tea and I'm going to talk. I've, I've learned from the, 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 the only, as a person, okay, that, that teaches a strategy, okay, as a, as a person that's a, that's a teacher, one of the things that I find very frustrating about this business itself, which is I teach people how to trade the stock market, is that I very often spend time talking to people that, that really just want a therapist. Now, you're not one of those people. You became a student. You signed up for subscriptions and services. But I can't tell you how much time I've wasted in my life in the last seven years since I've had the business talking to people that will that that I thought were serious about the class that I've spent several conversations with in emails that will never sign up, they will never pay. And here's why. They have serious mental issues about money. Now, you you were able to overcome those mentally to sign up and do the class and get involved, and you haven't quit trading, and obviously you had a great day here today. Whatever, whatever you end up making in this, there's no downside because this is this was a good day. And whether we follow through tomorrow or not, we're, this isn't going to reverse in any way that's going to destroy your positions tomorrow, just so you know. But the, but, but the point is, though, that you still have issues in your mind about money that have prevented you from seeing your full potential and will until you resolve them. So just like all the people that I talked to that I've wasted, I wasted time with, which I've I'm, I'm gotten better with. I've gotten better at reading people, and I don't waste the time anymore. It's pretty much one conversation. So if I have one conversation with them that's a good, solid conversation, and then they sign up, I know they're interested. But after one good conversation turns into two and they don't, I know that nothing that I say will, will, will convince them to come with me and learn because what their issues are have nothing to do with me. It has to do with them. And they need a therapist. They don't need a stock educator. And I've tried to be more than that for you because I care about you. And I've known you for a long time and you've been a client for a while too. But it, it, what upsets me is that you're smart enough to know that it, that it is very obvious. And I know it's difficult to look at yourself sometimes. But you know that some of these things have nothing to do with trading, that you're grap wrestling with. And that's besides the point of the personal issues you've had over the last few months. I'm talking rewind two years ago, a year ago. But the one thing that's really obvious is that my, my calls have improved. Basically, I've, I've been more focused. And I've never been more focused than I have been this year. So of all the years for you to benefit from knowing me, this would have been one of these years. Now, you have made money this year, and you're up. And obviously you had a good day today, but you haven't benefited fully because you still have some things that are going on in your head. These are things that you're going to have to resolve if you ever want to really do this like seriously and see it go somewhere for you, which I would like it too. But as, as a person, I struggle with this myself and say, why am I doing this? Because I'm really a person that's teaching my strategy. And I try to help people with the other things that are, are part of that, which I'm aware of. But there's more people than not that I talk to that have mental issues with money and classes and all this stuff. And they like to talk to me about their experiences, but they're never gonna do my class, even if they have the money. They could have a million dollars in the bank, and some do, because they have mental issues that they need to go see a therapist for. They're not gonna get that from me. And I've realized, and one of the things that I struggle with about doing this is I like what I do. I like teaching people, I like helping people. I will give more when it's necessary, but at a certain point, you, you have to step back and say, wait a minute, this person needs help, and they got to go to somebody else. And with you, we've talked about it, and I think you have reached out for help with other people, and you've been doing things to try to help yourself, but, but, but when you refuse to say that, you, when you refuse to look at yourself in the mirror and say that your attitude was somewhat negative today, you should have been jumping up and down, you should have been jumping around the room, because to have a day like this, to bank, bank this kind of money into the end of the month, well, it's not even the end of the month yet, you know, after you actually haven't, you've been away, I mean, you haven't done any of the trades, I think, for the last two, two or three weeks, you haven't done all the trades, I mean, this is a fantastic day, there's no way to even think either otherwise, and it's where your mind goes, 
That's the point I'm trying to make. Your mind goes places it shouldn't go. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I do. I'm, I'm not saying it's not a fantastic day. I'm up $2,000 today. 2200 at this minute. I'm looking at the screen. Right, you'll be up more into the close. This is going to fall into the close. So what do you want to do right now? Right I, I now, what do you want to do? Do you want to get out of this into the close? This is going to drop into the close. We will not recover into the close at, in any in the market. We won't. So what do you want to do? I don't, I don't have any positions in the queues or the SPY. I took them out. I closed the position. I made profit. Okay. Granted, $80, $90. Yes, I'm up. I made profit. That's great. I don't have a problem. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I've made money. I am happy when I make money. I. I'm but it's always the point with you that it, you're all. It's never enough for you. Now going back to giving the examples of the other yeah, people I, I talked to. I'm, I'm, Go I've ahead. got things to cover, and I, I, I've got to make money. I, but I've also got to make money and move forward. Make money and take money out. Yes. Okay. Cover the costs that I have running as well. So. I am chasing myself at the minute because I have got pots there sitting there, you know, a full of it to just say, right, I'll just dip into that. What I make is it, and that's it, and that's why I'm so I know, but, but I don't know why you think that creating stress for yourself about trying to squeeze every penny out of this and risk then giving some back, which I don't understand how you think that that's fruitful. The chances are I will call another trade sometime in the next week. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the, the, to yes. stress yourself out about wondering out if you're going to get out. Like, are I you still in low? Are you still in low? I have this up right now. Are you still in this? No, I did very well in that. I took it the same day yesterday, and I took it out, and I, I made – I did very well in it. I can't remember how much I made. I made a lot. Yeah. I mean, this was – Just short yeah. of 700, I think, I made in that. Fabulous. Great. Okay. But I took it out in the day. I saw it drop. I grabbed the money. I took it off the table. Fine. That was perfect. This is still lower, but that's okay. So you moved off this one. So, I mean, then what are you, what are you worried about here today? Well, I mean, I'm worried about, obviously, Netflix. That's continued lower. I am slightly better than I was earlier on. I'm just down 255 in that at the moment. But, obviously, I have Baidu that's sitting there with a decent profit. I'm up 102% in that. I'm up 69% in my Apple positions. Um, so I don't want to lose any of that, which was my main concern, really. Okay, really so too. then the, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's no downside here. If you get out of everything today before 4 o'clock, that's a great day. What's There's nothing to worry about. Right, so I won't be wrong in, in doing that then. You're okay. never wrong in booking substantial money. If you book two grand, you're not wrong. If you book twenty five hundred, you up earlier, you weren't wrong. If you hold it till tomorrow and these positions, you would have made three in. You're not wrong. If you would have get up tomorrow morning and the positions would have been worth fifteen hundred, you're not wrong. Don't you understand what I'm saying? You're not. I you're do. not in. I you're do. like. You're so. You're so fixated and mentally, and again, it's it's where it's working against you, where you're. You are overthinking everything, just like the example of people that are strangers that I talk to that are so fixated on things that happened to them in the past or fixated on the cost it's, of my class that they can't they can't no. overcome their own fixations to move forward it, in their own so lives. It, it's the fact that I'm misjudging now you are calling more trades than ever before. Um, but they're working, I, so don't complain. Yes, no, but... Obviously, the spider trade and the Q trade that I just closed today, I could have closed it a day or so ago, up probably maybe a little bit more than where I closed out today. But you also didn't I'll do the it, trades I'll out for the 31st. You. But you didn't do the trades out for the 31st. You did not do those trades. I know, because I didn't really anticipate another trade coming so quickly. And that's, obviously, I'm, I'm looking at what I've got on the table, not doubling up, taking another trade. But I should have closed it out sooner to take another trade. It's the frequency of me judging what I should be taking and taking out and what's coming next. Because but, you've up, but that's you've up absolutely ridiculous. You don't know that because I don't know that. And I don't know it till I see the gaps and I rate the gaps. Nobody knows it. So how, what do you mean? I mean, just have, then I don't even, like, what do you mean? I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. You're not risking well, $1,000 in every it, trade every more. And I'm not calling well, 30 it, trades a day, for God's sakes. It does. It does in the sense that when you, when you are looking for how long your trade has to play, and how long or where you anticipate a trade going to, 
and that's what I tend to look at. I look at where we're going to as a potential target, and I look at the time, obviously, that we have left in the trade. And I did realise, obviously, that we were getting to the point where the trade was running to the end of time. But obviously, you called a new trade, which took us into next week. So that new trade would have been well covered by time, whereas the old trade isn't. So but if I took the old trade out sooner, then, yes, I would have made more and then taken the new trade today, yesterday. Going okay, into next you're, you're talking about specific trade. That's not even the point of this conversation. The point of this conversation is you, it is this constant, constant, constant negative thing that surrounds you, even when you have great days like today, you can't just feel the joy of the day and be happy for it. You are, you are always saying it's not enough or you're not where you want to be well, or this or that. You, ha if, yes. I'm just telling you, fact, if you don't yes. stop thinking like this, you're never going to get where you want to be. Now, you may, well, you could just say, you know what? I am not where I want to be. I want to wish more. I want my account to be bigger. I want this. I want that. I want a Ferrari. I get it. But the fact is, how are you ever going to get to that point? So if you want to get to that point, you have to say, you know what? Things are going really well right now as it stands. And tomorrow I'm going to get up and I'm going to do great again. And that's all that you can do. And eventually then you will achieve your goals. But when you, when you, are, not, when you are not happy for what you even got, do you know how many people didn't think that this market would do this? Do you know how many people that are along this market right now? I mean, I called the trades. You did them. Be happy that you at least did them. Now you didn't do the one out next week, which I wish that you had. But the fact is I'll call other ones whenever I see whatever it needs to be called. So, I mean, the thing is that you're, you're, you're with me and you should be, you know, reaping the benefits of that because you're paying for the subscription and services and you already paid for the class. And, you know, again, not everyone is, not everyone is maximizing what I know because some people are not seeing it either, okay? Uh, yes. Like one guy took the Amazon and killed it yesterday. That was really dumb. So he took a loss in it and look at it. So, yes. you know, I mean, again, you're not well, the only one, but I'm telling you that you've well, known me for so long, you shouldn't be doing the crazy things, some of the things you're doing. Huh? I didn't take that purely. I know, it was, it was expensive. I know, I know, yeah. but I even said the, 18, the 1800s. I mean, but they all, they both worked. They both worked. Yes. Anyways, yeah. the no, point. I, I wouldn't kill it. I mean, I, I haven't been killing trades. I've been taking trades, and if they lose, they lose. It's as simple as that. Well, you didn't do the market ones, but anyways, you have enough money to be doing them all. Whether you have enough money to do 10 of each one or five of each one like you want to do, that's a different question. But, I mean, you have to be aware of the fact that I have been calling them in waves, and part of that is because I've read the market so well. So if I'm seeing that they're all going to work, then I'm calling them all. Yes, oh, I, I understand I understand the fact that you would call them in waves. It's because it's the way the market is going and the way we are at the moment. But the point is, though, Philip, this, 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 this overall thing in your head that is negative, you have to correct it yourself. You have to talk to a therapist or you have to correct it yourself, and I'm not sure what to say to you anymore about it. But I get it. I talk to people all the time that are like that, that can't even take the leap to even learn the class. But at this point now, you've known me for so long, and we've had the same discussion before, and now you're actually making good money, okay? So it's yeah. like, okay, you should just, there should be no negative thinking in your mind at all right now. And the fact that you even have 10% negative is like detrimental to you, because then if the, if the next trade loses, then it even sets you back even more. Don't you understand? It's like, I don't know if you know what I'm trying to say. I do. I do understand it. I mean, I've read lots of things and listened to various people talk on the matter. And I, I do. I do understand what you're saying. Yeah, doing. but intellectually yes. understanding it and applying it in your life is two different things. Yes, it is. I understand. I mean, yes, I'm doing well today. I'm, I'm up a decent figure. It's just, I just need to keep moving, moving in the right direction with it. It's as simple as that, really. But that's, but that's up to you. But that's up to you. Why would you think that you wouldn't? Don't you understand? It's like, it's like you you like assume that somebody's gonna go wrong, or you're like you can't even like feel like I don't even know how you sleep at night. It's like how do you ever de-stress? It's like if you can't like feel confident that you're gonna continue doing well, then it's like you'd be stressed all the time. If you're worried about the money that you booked today, thinking you're gonna lose it all in the next week or tomorrow, well, who can live like that? 
spend freely, risk money freely, book the money freely. You see the difference between like worried about it. I do, there, there's I not, do, there's no. I do all those things. I do all these. Th I have done all those things. Unfortunately, things have backed up a little bit, so I have to cover what I've cover what I've actually spent. You see what I mean? So all this. Has got to has got to move in the right direction for me. Well, they they, they are. Yes, it has today. It's worked fantastic. They have been doing so. Yeah. I've had several trades that have worked very well for me. I mean, lows yesterday. Yes, I was tempted to hold it, hold it another day, but I took it advantage. No, that was a great time. exit for someone like you. That was a great exit. But again, if you want to get to the point where you're risking more, if you want to get to the point where you're holding a little, just a smidgen baby longer, then you need to, you need to get some of your confidence going. You need to think positively. You're just, you're just not doing it. But I mean, I think the difficult, the most difficult thing about this industry itself, trading, the market, all of it, is there is a lot of people that think negatively. There's a lot of people that will never, never, you know, be able to move past things that have happened to them in the past about losses and things. You've got to be able to move past some of that. It, it is a, it is just like long, 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 long overdue for you, Philip. Strangely enough, they don't. That does not sit with me. I don't, I don't hang on to the losses. I'm aware. No, I'm not. I'm not losses. saying one specific trade. I'm saying in general, your general well, attitude. Your general um, attitude is all is like your, like it, your general attitude is like. Uh, how do I describe this? It's not one any one specific trade or any loss specifically like that. It's like your general attitude is like you're fearful around it. Like, the money's gonna go away. That's that's the. It's like a general attitude of like this this fearful thing. That's the best way I can describe it. It's not one specific trade. It's a, just a general attitude of all the experiences that have been yours for the last, you know, since the dawn of time or whatever, since you started trading thirty years ago. It's like all of that, and that's how it is when I talk to people. I know right. this just from talking to so many, so many, so many people. And for me, it's frustrating as a person if I spend two hours talking to somebody that I think is a serious person. When I, then after the second conversation, I realize that that they're not because they have yes. so many mental blockages that they 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 will never they will never do my class and they will never trade again because they just they just they can't they just they need a therapist and so and 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 again I you know you can read all the books in the world and you can go see a therapist too but but I mean you've got to at some point just let it go and again applying things that you know is different it, it is different than just knowing that what i'm saying makes sense it's it's just the application of them but reminding yourself of it definitely helps yes right okay okay I, i'm just telling you you're not going to get where you want to go where you can freely start risking a thousand dollars two thousand dollars back in these trades three thousand dollars taking the amazons you know, doing these ones until you, until you get into that flow again of it, which, which is not a fearful flow. It's, you just, it's like, you're just, you're just taking it. You're just saying, you're just plopping it on. You're just plopping it on and you're seeing so where it goes. That is actually how I have been playing these trades. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been risking virtually 500 in each trade. Great. So, so you know, I mean, and, and Disney's obviously a bit more, it's more of a thousand. But that's all to do with the time. So I mean, Apple, I've got just short of 800 in it. So I'm not as if I'm on the low side. It's not like I'm being, I'm not pushing the boat, shall we say, in the risk factor too much. But I, I am pushing it because I want to be in that direction. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to pinch every trade. Does that make sense? I'm not, I'm not being cautious about what I'm placing. Well, I think you were cautious not doing the market trades yet yesterday that I called, but you know. Yeah, that, 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 as I said, was predominantly because I had two positions running anyway. I know, but that has nothing to do with anything. So know that for the next time. Do you but understand? What, 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 yes, but what should I do in a situation like that again? Do I cl immediately close the positions that I have, take new positions with longer time, would that be a better? I mean, that's what I was thinking. If that, if you have zero money in your account and that's the only way you can take the positions, yes. But you didn't, so I don't. That you're. I mean, I don't know what you're yes. trying to say. If everything's working, let it work out. I think you should have yes. got out of them a little bit earlier, but they were working, and you'd be up more now if you had just killed them at one o'clock. But either way, the story is though that if there's nothing to do with anything at all, unless you don't have any money to take them, then then that's a different story. 
then get out of them with positive and retake the ones out longer. But you did have money to take them, so I don't know why you, I don't even know why you were even thinking about that. It's not the first time I've done that either. So, <laughs> so I should have, I should have taken the others with the ones I had originally then. Is that what you're saying? What? Say that again? I had two. I had a spy and a cube running. But uh, but you actually called. when At that time, when you called some new trades, I still was holding the previous trades. Okay. And what's your question? Right. The question is, should I have closed out those? The time, obviously, we're looking at time. Closed out the ones that closed this week. That expired this week. I think you should have closed them out before when uh, right. before, right. but when you didn't and you had them on, it didn't mean that you had to kill them unless you unless you didn't have any money to take the new ones. So that's what right. I'm saying. And in that moment, you could have made a decision and you could have booked the same or better money anyways yesterday or I don't even know what they were yesterday. But anyways, you you could have, you could have gotten out of them yes and then taken the new ones or you could have held them both. But you should have been out of that one. But unless you didn't have any money, theoretically, you could have held them both. Because, like, if I had called the ones yesterday out two days ago or whatever, you could you could have theoretically held them both unless you didn't have any money to, to take the trades. I think, in general, sometimes in these, you're looking for more than they have to give, which is why it was fun that you got out with low yesterday. It's I've noticed that, again, you will, like, like, if something has a majorly big move, you're fine with getting out of it on the day of. But, like, if it doesn't, it's like you almost don't get out of it. Like, I, you know, again, that's where there's no, like, feel for what's going on with you anymore. It's like you kind of lost that mojo, well, you know? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a, a, a reasonable move, Melissa. You know, a, a, move, a, a move that actually makes... I know, but what you think is reasonable and what you think is reasonable and what the market thinks is reasonable with the stocks is completely different, obviously, at some, some different periods of time. And in this kind of volatility... You know, you have to you have to be aware of that as well. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, because the market can flip around again. Now that isn't going to happen tomorrow, but it it could and it has been, but that isn't going to happen tomorrow. So. Right, right. So, you wouldn't take these you wouldn't take these positions then that expire on the thirty first if there was a little bit of a bounce in the market or if it looked like it could go for another day. No, you missed the trades. The trades are up. You yeah, missed them. Look at the market I today. I know. Right. Okay. Don't don't chase the things. And don't do it if it gaps up tomorrow. That would be wrong. And I don't know where we're going to close here with an hour left. I'm surprised we're not, you know, here at 278 in the market. I mean, it's really funny the way this market is trying not to fall, and yet it's falling every second. So <sighs> it's quite amusing here. But anyways, long story short, what are you doing? Are you going to get out of everything you did to close here today? Are you going to hold it until tomorrow? What are you going to do? Just tell me before I get off. Well, that's that's exactly what I meant when I said to you. Look, I, I mean, I'm now I'm thinking, am I am I just pushing it too much, and should I just take the money? How much I mean, are it, you up? What are you up? I'm up two thousand two hundred and thirty-one dollars. That's pretty good. And with the money that you already have, then you would have booked close to twenty-five hundred today. Now you can get out of it all here, or you can wait until the close. We're going to sell off here into the close. Maybe just get out of everything here between 3 and 12, 4 o'clock into the close. Right. Somewhere between. You don't think it's going to bounce at any time? You? <laughs> well, you know how it goes. You know how it goes. I have stopped yeah. drinking because I, well, I want to think clearly. I have so much to do. But I swear you make me want to go get a glass of wine at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Philip. I mean, it just, I, la I don't know what to do with laugh or scream. Yeah, no, but when I'm sitting here with my finger on the keyboard, Melissa, I mean, you know what it's like. You've sat and watched. No, it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy when, when, when. I mean, when 87 percent of the trades that I've called in the options letter have worked for the year. There again, there's, there's, there's nothing to be upset about at all. I and mean, it's like, what's there to be upset about? There's nothing no, to be upset no, about. I'm not, nothing. I'm not, ups I'm not upset about anything. I'm up money, more mm -hmm. money now than I was. A month ago, so mm -hmm. I, I'm not upset by anything at all. I'm happy. What I am cautious and wary of is me waiting to the close and finding that there's a little bit of a bounce and then I lose it when I close them. 
And I know, but even if there would be a yeah, little bit yeah. of a bounce, you're not going to lose $1,000. This is the risk you take. This is called trading. This is trading. You either get out right now and decide that you're happy with it, or you make an extra 300 or you lose an extra 200 I don't know. I mean, you then pick a number. Pick a number. If it goes up to you know two thousand, then then kill it at two thousand. If it keeps going and holding that, let it drop. I mean, you can't you can't have it both ways. This is what trading is. You're taking risk. It's like it's like the same thing about people talking about my class. It's like what do they want? This is you know this is trading. This is the market. You got to take risk. I mean, come on. Yeah, it is. I mean, yeah, I'm looking at Netflix and thinking, well, looking at Netflix now, it looks like it could drop tomorrow and it could drop. Everything is probably going to drop tomorrow. Where it opens, though, I do not know. So we could, here's what, here's, here's my call for the market tomorrow, and then you're going to have to decide this on your own. If we close, like, say we were closed right now, right in here, I don't know where we open, but we're lower tomorrow. So we could fall down and gap down tomorrow big time, or we could open neutral and fall, or we could even open up and fall. There's no way we don't fall tomorrow, but we could do it in the gap down. So I don't know. We will follow through lower tomorrow. It's either going to be overnight. It's going to be on the day. That I cannot tell you, but that I know. So there you there you have it. <laughs> right. Okay. Market will not find its way around the situation within the next 24 hours into a holiday weekend, meaning it's not going to do some magical recovery. So right. that, you know. Yes. Right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. Have a good day, Philip. Thank you, Melissa. Okay. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye-bye.